What's up YouTube, it's your girl Shayla T and welcome back to another video. Today I got a little something, something different than what I normally bring on Mommy Mondays and Wife Wednesdays. Today, I know it's the end of the work week. It's Friday when I'm recording this. But you know, you might be watching this on a Sunday, who knows? But it's the end of the work week and you might have the weekend off, you about to go You about to go party you might about to just spend time with your children especially this weekend it's a three-day weekend hey one thing i have learned okay and when i mean learn i mean i've learned it the hard way y'all <laughs> happiness is a choice i know what you're thinking like what like of course you who wouldn't choose to be happy it's just not that simple it's really not that simple you think it's easy to be like okay I'm just gonna be happy so let me just be happy but it doesn't work like that I mean you have life it be throwing you life be throwing you some some uppercuts some punches so sometimes to choose to be happy it's not always easy to choose your happiness it's sometimes hard, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. You have everything going on. You working, you got your kids, you got your family, you got et cetera, et cetera. Whatever you got in your life going on, being happy for yourself is sometimes left on the backboard. Back, the, the back burner. Sometimes your own happiness usually can be put to the back and everybody else's happiness is put to the front, especially, especially when you're a parent. I'm not gonna say just when you're a mama, but when you're a mama, when you're a daddy, grandma, titi, whatever you is, when you are raising little humans, a lot of the times, most of the times, their happiness becomes your happiness and you kind of forget about yours, but it's a choice. So happiness is definitely a choice, something that you have to choose on a daily basis. So what does all that mean? I said that to say this, you know, you have everything in your life, whatever it is that you have going on, you have to choose always to be happy. And like I said, I learned that the hard way. A lot of times I was putting my children, my husband, my family, everybody's needs above my own. But that wasn't really making me happy. Of course, seeing others around me do well, do good, makes you happy. But a lot of times when you're not doing well for yourself, it's hard to be happy for others. So when I started to choose to be happy on a daily basis, that's when I saw things just snap and fall into place. And so when you wake up in the morning, whether, you know, something gets you down, no matter what it is that's going on, you might be feeling down, but you have to choose to be happy. It's an actual art form. So when, when you talk about happiness and choosing to be happy, it's an art. It's something that you have to work it. It is actual, it's actually a job, another job that you have to attend, but the job is for yourself. So I say all that just to say, remember, choose your happiness every day. Make a choice. And even if it's just a segment or portion of the day that you kind of realize, oof, I'm getting a little worked up. Just choose your happiness, y'all. It's going to work out in the long run. And I want to know what y'all think. What are some of the things that you do to choose your happiness? What are some of the things that you do, you know, when you feel a little bit of, a little overwhelmed? How do you choose your happiness? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'm 